start out today doing pretty dandy myself, trying to survive this heat that we're having right now. I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. 84, 85, a little toasty. But upstairs, it's like a sauna. Anyways, you're not here for the weather. You're here for a video where we're going to ask the question, is it worth it? Yes. So, today we are going to be reviewing the BenQ Screen Bar E-Reading Lamp, which is this bad boy right here. They sent this over for us to check it out, and we're going to attach it to a couple of devices, and we're going to see how it is. So, initially, I'm going to put it on the devices, and we're going to see the attachments, lighting features, different things like that. Um, and then, I might shut down the lights and uh, try a different angle or something like that to see how the lighting is itself. So, let me unpack this bad boy right now, if you will. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so, instructions are a smack on the back for you. Blamity blam. Not bad. Hmm, interesting. This won the Taiwan Excellence Gold Award in 2018. Excellent. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. And now, I hate round, um, sticky things. Everyone seems to have these round sticky things. And they always are super, super tight and super, super annoying. I'm not hating on the company, but just hitting on the sticker itself, you know what I mean. Stand by. Just listen to those fine tunes I have uploaded for you. I get this bad boy. Oh, that, there it is. Nope, never mind. Yep. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. I mean, that is a free... That, that's like 30% uh, power right there, man. 30% power. Insane. They want me to be some sort of animal on TV. I really hope it's not attached at both ends. It is. All right, that that's just cruel and unjust, sir. If I have like nails, I might be able to do something. All right, so what in tarnation are you doing? Oh my gosh. Well, packaging is already pretty freaking annoying, but... Alright, there we go. So, there we are. Open it up like a treasure chest. Yes. Oh, fuzzy protector thing. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Instructiones. Unreadable. Hmm. Unreadable. But there's instructions on the back, so I'm not too bad hurt. All right, this seems to be the device here, at least part of it. Oh, aren't you, Mr. Fancy Pants? All right, so there it is, we're out like that. Pretty nice. Now, uh, being married into a Chinese family has taught me that this plastic will stay on probably for 10 years. Moving on. So true. That's kind of convenient, so I guess I should show you this real quick. I already pulled the bar out, but you guys can see the inside there has everything like kind of lined out for you, which is really cool. Basically, this is the lamp with a micro USB port, powered by USB cable, um, tap to turn on, on and off, uh, natural dimmer, and then we got the clip, and we got the USB power cable itself. Oh, that's, that's got some weight to it, wow. Mm. So that's heavy. All right. Oh, because I mean it is a counterweight, so that's probably why. All right. So it's a pretty simple process from what I'm seeing here. Hold on, people. A is to take the round part and put it on to the middle part. All right. Like so. Nah. Someone with some terrible, terrible freaking belt, man. You can hear their car. Alright. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So this has got to go... This plastic has got to get taken off right here because it's an opening for the little uh, switch in the middle there. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, I'll take that off right now. Alright, so we're gonna do that. And that's 
Probably not right. There we go. Alright, so here we go. You have this right now like this. And so what you're going to do is you have your, uh, this is your counterweight here basically. And then you can see in the back here the USB is opened right there. So then, what you do after that, you plop the bad boy right onto the monitor. Extend the counterweight and rest the clip on the top of the monitor for optimal performance. Ensuring that the mounting arm is perpendicular to the monitor. Let's take a look here So I have a handy-dandy monitor here nothing too classy and then Basically that's it All right cool, so then we take the cord so obviously this is on right now or not on but Attached if you will. I can't see what you guys are looking at, so I just have to go with you on that and then hmm. All right, so I have a, a, a device here to power it on up and it's also a secondary test We're gonna be doing because I have my uh, Handy dandy gaming laptop right here. I don't know if this is gonna work out with that. It's a bit heavy, so We'll just test it with the monitor right now I love their uh, plastic wrap here. Okay. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to put her out there. Plug her out on in. Come on now. Come on now. So, I'm not real good with these uh, micro USBs. So they're just kind of annoying. You know, you stick them in, they just don't want to go in. Like, you know you're putting it in right, and yet it's just got to be annoying and never go in. Finally. Alright. Counterweight is on. I'll plug this bad boy over here as a power source. Use the oh, alright, alright, alright. So there we go. We got this bad boy. Oh, you can, also, you can see the studio! Alright, so let's see here. I'm not sure if I want to move this or not. Alright, well you just have to deal with that. You can see me. So yeah, you can see the full lighting here now. Oh, alright. Okay, so this is the on and off. That's... Oh, oh you can see over there. That's actually pretty cool. So it's pretty... It's all touch. There's no clickety-click-click. -click. It's, um, it's nice, nice clean touch. And then that right there is something else. Alright, alright. Kind of changing the light type it seems like, yeah. Alright. And then we have the temperature it looks like, the type of, uh, of uh, you know, light you want, whether warm lighting, cool lighting. And then this looks like the brightness. Yeah. You can do that and then reset it basically. So that's actually pretty cool. I do like that. So uh, let me just off camera. I'm gonna try to put this on my laptop. I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, it's kind of heavy. All right. So let's uh, let's put this on the monitor here. I'm going to power off for a second, reset this back up to do some different lighting in the studio here, and uh, we'll come back and take a look. All right, so, different view. So we have the light in here, and again, you can turn that off, turn that on, via the touch here. And then you have the different styles here of uh, temperature for the light. I actually love the temperature settings here, because I'm a little, I'm not for this LED, like, white bright light stuff, I'm more cool lighting, if you will. I'm the kind of guy that loves warm lighting, and so I love how you can get this nice and deep orange out. Not orange, but nice deep color out of it, like that right there. Doesn't look like much here, but I definitely enjoy that. Um, and then obviously, really brighten that up if you need to. So that's, so that's really cool. So you can see the lighting is actually pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you on the laptop here. It will. I just, this is an expensive laptop and I, I wouldn't really do it. I don't know, I've already had to replace the entire thing because this product has a terrible, terrible design for its band, but the counterweight does work if you just put it in here. And see, the counterweight's on there already. Who knew? You can see the studio lighting. So yeah, you can see the laptop still there. Oh, that's, that's an awesome view. You guys can not see anything. But basically, 
you can see it will hang on a laptop for you. As you can see, it's right there. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And the reason why is that counterweight is going to hold on to that, basically. It's not going to let that fall. It's that big, heavy device on the back. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, um, we've all looked at that, but we need to come back, and we're going to have to ask that question of is it worth it or not. So stand by. Welcome back, humans. So yes, we checked it out. We saw the lighting. We made sure it worked on all the different products. Very simple to use, very easy instructions. Didn't even need to be able to read the instructions on the inside. It was conveniently placed in the back of the box. But we need to ask the question if it's worth it or not. So yes, I'm gonna say it's worth it. Now it's a bit expensive. It's gonna run yet about $100. So you have to need something like this to make it worth it. If you're looking for a lamp to plop on your desk, then no, it's not going to. If you want a little lighting, a little $20 lampy do on the, on the desk there, absolutely not because that's not gonna do anything for you. If you want a real high class powered light that's not gonna be make you feel sick, that's gonna give you good lighting, it's not gonna hurt your eyes, then I would say, not a doctor, uh, then I would say, then yes, this is worth it. I'm gonna give this product a nine out of 10. Um, a couple of things that I really enjoyed was the fact that uh, obviously everything is nice touch, touch lighting, there's no buttons or clickety clackities. Um, I like that you can change the hues and go well a, a cold a cold uh, bright light or a warm light either one of those will work for you I like you can take uh, change the brightness level all those features are great on it um, I like the sturdiness of the product as well now the thing that I didn't like and this isn't this is kind of nitpicking if you will um, I felt a little sketch with it on my laptop on a monitor no big deal at all but it's very heavy and I don't know how long I, I wouldn't leave it overnight on my laptop like I would my monitor I feel like um, you know it would just take one Luna Chan cat you know body smack onto the lid to push the screen back and send this thing flying with it that's the only thing I have is that, you know, obviously it and laptops are a little, uh, are kind of a racy dance, if you will. A little spicy, a little saucy. Um, but yeah, for monitors, absolutely fantastic. Put this in your office and uh, and you won't regret it, absolutely not. And of course, if you're on a laptop, definitely throw it on Just be very careful. Other than that, I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys all looking and watching and checking out this uh, new Is It Worth It video. Trying a few different new things. Not sure if they'll work out. We'll see. Might do two videos this week. I have a uh, kind of a how-to question to help you guys out video. Either come in uh, early this week or on Sunday. Have another Is It Worth It thing uh, video coming out. Thing. Is It Worth It thing. Another Is It Worth It video coming out in the next uh, week or two as well. Got a, quite a few products I want to try out. So... I hope you guys all have a, uh, I was going to say handy dandy summer, but that sounds kind of weird. I hope you guys all have a lovely day, and, uh, and thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you all next video, meow.